This video describes the advanced analysis available in your attribute window on your Medmon E300 corneal topographer. Start by selecting a single map or multiple maps, then go down to data and you'll notice your attribute window pops up with information specific to the selected topography. If you want to calculate your own formulas, go to the add edit icon and you can create your own analysis options here. If your distributor has sent you a specific attribute to import, you can click on the import button here. If you go down to the arrange icon, this allows you to move a specific attribute from the main database over to your active window on the bottom. So for instance, you could click on an attribute, use the arrow key, to move it across, or if you want to eliminate an attribute that's on your window, select it and again use the arrow key to move it back to the main database. Whatever's on the right hand side will appear on the bottom of your window here. Now we can see that the standard attributes are here, the Ks, the eccentricity, the disease detection indices, but we also have a number of attributes that have been added by this particular user. The corneal angle at five millimeters out at zero degrees, as well as the corneal angle at five millimeters out at 180 degrees. These angles are used to determine the anterior chamber depth for scleral lens fitting. The steeper the angle, the higher the anterior chamber depth, the flatter the angle, the lower the anterior chamber depth. As just a simple example, there's many more things these angles can be used for. We can also see an attribute has been calculated for the horizontal meridian at 15 millimeters out, providing us an estimate of the sagittal depth of the anterior chamber, 3.5. 811 millimeters. In other words, if our scleral lens is calculated to a diameter of 15 millimeters, we know the estimated height of the anterior chamber. We can then add in the apical clearance, and that gives us the required sagittal depth of scleral lens that we require. There's also an estimated height chord value that you can enter specifically. For instance, if we have a scleral lens that lands at 16 millimeters and its height is calculated over a 16 millimeter chord, then the Medmon software will estimate that height to a 16 millimeter chord, 4,293 microns. So many attributes can be added to your attribute window here and this can provide you with additional details that you may require for your specific application.